What's up in the loop? It's high check it in from Six Flags over Texas during a very, very busy spring break. Or as they call their nighttime event, screen break. I do very much enjoy this sand setup they have here at the front of the park. That is the after hours event. But we're here right now to check out the brand new Aquaman water coaster that opened just a few days ago. Coming in from the front of the park, we immediately took a right and Aquaman's not the tallest ride, but does loom over this section of the park temporarily close so that's why it's you're not seeing it run right now but just want to show off kind of how big it is oh no it is running wait uh, i see it sign said it was close this is a good sign that it's actually running let's see it's about to come up there it is so at this point of the park we took a right you, you can see pretty quickly uh, aquaman looms over the park right it's about to kind of go up the big Spike there. And splash. We're going to go over and check it out. So right as a little bit of a unique history that the turntable was added after the ride main structure was already built, which probably explains why the station, which is literally right here, is like in the middle of the midway. It's a little bit strange. Like you could almost reach out and touch the turntable while you're standing on the midway here. Now, it does utilize this turn uh, table to help expedite loading. And when, like I was saying, when you think about it, pre at the decision to add the turntable, the station would have been back there quite a bit off the midway, but adding the turntable means it's bumped out here on the midway. All right, enough nerd talk, let's ride. So the ride starts off by going backwards. Not not much on the backwards. It has a but it really picks up momentum going forward, like right here. But you get a little pop of airtime going over that. You can kind of see it. Once you come down there, it really picks up the speed. Falls back down. Nice backwards airtime. And then the way this works is as soon as the boat passes there, they flood the basin. And I gotta get out of the way because it's about to make a pretty big splash. It's called Power Splash for a reason. You actually go quite a bit of ways up that spike. Wanted to make sure I showed that. So how the ride works is this center area the boat just went through. You can hear the pumps kicking in right now. And as it's on that back spike, it floods that area, creating a pool of water for it to splash through. So. It only hits the water that one time and now you can hear the pumps drain in that pool so you don't get wet on the forwards and backwards. So I know one of the big questions I had, I'm sure you had too, is how wet do you get? Well, the splash looks a lot worse there than, uh, than you actually get wet. First row, you definitely get wet. I was in the third row and I got just a little bit of a mist. So uh, maybe they changed the water level over time, but you don't want to get too wet, ride third row or further back and you should be pretty good. The other nerd detail I noticed is they really need a, a drain up there. The water runs all the way down through the park. Mr. Freeze, everyone thought that uh, based on some cryptic posts the park made last fall that it was maybe getting removed, but it's just no longer reverse last. It's just normal Mr. Freeze which is still a, a absolute great ride. This is a, one of my must rides every time I come here. It looks a little unassuming, but it's, it's really, really good. Especially that top hat right there. That's pretty wacky. According to the sign here in front of the runaway mine train, it is currently closed and will reopen later this spring. It, it, it does acknowledge that it's the, one of the oldest coasters out there and does need some extra maintenance. So good to see uh, that they're not getting rid of it, but they're actually investing in it. It looks like there's quite a bit of work going on in the station, maybe some station gates and new control panel. But good to see they're, they're uh, investing in such an old coaster. One bummer is the pirate ride. Pirate dark ride is still not open. It got a lot of damage uh, late last year. They don't give an opening date like they did for the, the mine train on this one, um, but at least, uh, at least they acknowledge well, what went wrong and say they're working on it. So hopefully it's only a matter of time here. More spring break decor. 
And that wraps up our quick visit to Six Flags over Texas to check out Aquaman. Worth calling out, there's a few certain things in theme park life. Disney will be busy over Christmas, and the Texas theme parks will be absolutely slammed during spring break. So if you're uh, in the Midwest looking to get your theme park fixed during the springtime, come down to Texas. They're great parks. Just be prepared to wait, maybe by the flash pass or something. Aquaman, absolute great ride. Really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll have a lot more videos from Six Flags Parks and other parks around the country. So be sure to like and subscribe.